David. No David. Oh, no David. Oh, no David. Oh, is that a makeup, make believe book? Is it make believe? So it's a narrative story? Right, it's a make believe story. So we're going to be looking at, so, at two books today here in just a minute. We're going to decide if they're real or if they're make believe. Are you ready? So I have two books here. Uh oh. This one is called Interrupting Ooh. Chicken, and this one is called Owen and Mizzy. Ooh. Let's look at these books for a minute. Look at the front cover. Which one of these books do you think is real? Is this one real? Yeah. How many of you think this one is real? Because yeah. it has real bait. Total and a real real so it's a real hippo and a real turtle, isn't it? It's a real picture. Let's look on the inside of the book and see if it still has some real pictures in it. <gasps> look, That's these are real pictures, aren't Angel. they? Angel. Those right. are turtles that watch Right, so this, this is a informational text. Look at the other book. We'll look at it in a moment. This is an informational text. Let's look at this book, Interrupting Chicken. Is this book real yeah. or make-believe? Make-believe. How can you tell it's make-believe? What do you notice? Somebody raise your hand if you know. Oh, we have to raise, raise our hand. hand. Yes, ma'am. You. Are they real chickens or chickens that are made up? They're painted chickens. Somebody painted the picture, didn't they? So we know it's not real. And let's make sure that we're correct. Look at all these pictures. They're like comic books or like cartoons, aren't they? Yeah. So this book is not real. It's a narrative story. A narrative story is a story that is written to entertain us or make us laugh. So I'm going to draw a picture on our chart here under the book Interrupting Chicken. I'm going to draw a picture of a person laughing. I got crazy here. And they're laughing because it's a story, a narrative story, that is written to entertain them. It is also, usually a narrative story also has a problem. Look at the title, Interrupting Chicken. Do you think there might be a problem there? What's the problem? Oh, the other two kids are trying to talk, but uh, the other one's interrupting them. Right, that's a problem, interrupting. So I'm going to draw a picture of a person thinking about a problem. Good work here. So here's somebody, and they're thinking about a problem. And they're wondering how the characters in this narrative story are going to solve their problem. Now let's think about this book, Owen and Mizzy. We decided that this book was real, right? This is called an informational text. An informational text is a real story about a real topic or a real person or animal. So when we read informational stories, informational text, sorry, we're reading a book to find out about something. So let's pretend we've got this book here. We're reading this text to find out about something. Really concentrating. And we're using a magnifying glass like scientists to figure out what's going on and learn something new. So an informational text is about a certain person, a real person or place or thing, and we're using a magnifying glass to really learn about something new. What are we gonna learn about in this story, do you think? Raise your hand if you think you know what we might be learning about. What do you think we're learning about? And what are we learning about in this story? What do you think we're going to learn? Look at the picture. Well, look at the picture. What do you think we're going to learn about? 
You can look at the picture and tell me. There's a turtle and a hippo. Do you think we're going to learn about the turtle and hippo? Yeah. Right. So we're going to be reading this to learn something new about a turtle and hippo. All right. So I'm going to show you some other books. And I want to see if you can figure out if they're narrative stories, made up stories to entertain us with a problem, or if they're informational text to teach us about a topic. <coughs> we can be scientists and learn something new. Are you ready? Think you can do this? Bless you. You ready? This is called Animals Are Living Things. Look at it very carefully. Look at the pictures on the inside. Hmm. Is this real or made up? Raise your hand if you know. What do you think? Yeah. It's what? Real. It's real. That means it's an informational text. What are we going to learn about in this text? It says animals are living things. What are we going to learn about? Tell me something we're going to learn about. Oh, we're gonna learn about, about some animals and some nice animals and some cool, tricky animals. Some really nice animals, maybe some tricky animals too. That's very good. All right, you ready for the next book? <coughs> Here we go. I want my hat back. <laughs> hmm, let's look at the pictures. <laughs> you think this is real or made up? Raise your hand if you think you know. Made up. Yes. Is it real or made up? Corey, she's talking to you, buddy. Oh, real. Is this real or pretend? Yeah. This is pretend. This is not a real picture, right? But it's a pretend. It's a real book. But it's a pretend story. And there might be a problem in it. I wonder what the problem is. Let's look at the title. I want my hat back. What do you think the problem is? Yes, ma'am. And it's because he lost his hat. He lost his hat, so he's going to have to figure this out, right? going to have to figure out where his hat is. So this is a narrative story that's going to be kind of a funny story. It's going to make us smile, and we've got a problem in it. Let's look at this one. Lola and Tibia. Let's look at the pictures in do you think this is real or not real? Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think? It's real because look at that. We've got real pictures in here. Lola is Lola is the little rhinoceros and Tibby is the little girl. What are we going to learn about in this story? What do you think we're going to learn about? Yes. What are we going to learn about? All the stories on the window. We're going to learn about this little girl, right? Tibia and Lola. Hmm. Are we going to learn something new? Is it informational because it's real? So it's an informational text. We're going to learn something new and we're going to read it like a scientist. All right. Here's my last book. Are you ready? Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Let's look at the pictures. Is this real or no. not real? What do you think? Fake. It's fake. It's not real, is it? So uh, it's a narrative story. And I wonder what the problem is. It's kind of, it's, we know that there's some kind of problem. Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Let's see if we can figure out what the problem is by just reading a little bit. Leonardo was a terrible monster because he couldn't scare anybody. What's the problem in the story? What couldn't he do? He couldn't scare anybody. He couldn't scare anybody, so he was a terrible monster. So this is a narrative story, and it's made to entertain us, and there's a problem. Leonardo can't, Leonardo cannot scare anybody. So let's read a little bit of Interrupted Chicken and see if this is a story, an informational, a narrative story, sorry, that makes us laugh and that has a problem. Are you ready to try that out? Make sure you're in your spot, please. See ya. Here we go. Interrupting chicken.
Let's see if we're right about the problem that they're interrupting. Went to bed and they solved their problem. She quit interrupting, right? Because she had to tell her own story. So was this a narrative story that made us laugh? Yeah. Did it have a problem for us to think about? Yes. All right, now let's look at Owen and Missy and see if this is an informational text that teaches us about something. Okay. So little Owen was a hippo who got separated from his mother. And he was stuck in the mud. Oh my goodness, he's a baby and he needs his mom, doesn't he? Uh -huh. He's a good friend to Missy. Wow, <laughs> did we learn something new? Yeah. What a great informational text. So let me ask you something. Do you think after today, uh -huh. When your teacher is reading a book that you can figure out if it's a narrative story or an informational text by just looking, you think you can do that? Yeah. How many of you think you can do that after today? <coughs> I think you can too because you were talking a lot about the informational text that's, is it real or not real? Real. 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 And the narrative real. story, is it real or not real? Not real. Not real. So let's see if the rest of, if next week when your teacher's reading a book, you can figure out if it's a narrative story or an informational text. You guys did a great job of listening. Would you put your hands up really high? Give yourselves a pat on the back. Thank you so much for listening. You are a great audience. I'll talk to you another day, all right? Can we give Miss Goff an oh, you did a good job? You ready? One, two, three. Oh, you did a good job.